Hi, I'm Derek Pitts of the Franklin Institute Science Museum. While many people think that it was Columbus that discovered the world to be round in 1492, this information was very well known to Cleopatra and people of her time. In fact, they'd known about the Earth being round for about 200 years by Cleopatra's time. Now, this points to the fact that Egyptians at that time were very knowledgeable about astronomy and knowledgeable for many different and important reasons. There were agricultural reasons, there were cultural reasons, and there were religious reasons as well. And some of these actually come down to us today. For example, it was important for the Egyptians to recognize certain bright stars because those bright stars, particularly Sirius, announced the arrival of the annual flooding of the Nile River. The flooding of the Nile River provided nutrients in the muds that washed over the adjacent riverbanks for the proper cultivation of crops that provided for the grain, the food, of course, that fueled the development of the civilization at that time. In fact, one could say, if it weren't for that knowledge, a good understanding of that knowledge, that cyclic aspect of astronomy and the flooding of the Nile, that the Egyptian civilization might not uh, have grown to be as strong and as powerful as it was. At the same time, the Egyptians were also very knowledgeable about how to shape the length of days. Well, what they did was they broke up the evening sky into a set group of times that eventually ended up being the 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night that we associate with the 24-hour clock. Now, of course, we all realize that the number of hours of daylight varies according to season, but generally, that concept of the 24-hour day was first brought to us by the Egyptians. At the same token, they also brought to us the concept of the 365-day year, another very important part of our existence on this planet that we carry with us. Of course, we now recognize that the day is actually 365 and a quarter days. The Egyptians didn't account for that extra quarter day, and once every four years or so, they'd add another day just to balance things out. We now do this and call it a leap year every year, and from the Egyptians to today, we've figured out how to keep our calendars straight.